Welcome back to the Crypto World Channel, everyone. My name is Josh, and right now, Bitcoin is forming a brand new pattern here in the shorter term, while we are bouncing from this very important Fibonacci level. So in just a moment, I'll be talking about this and some other important Bitcoin charts later in this video. So make sure you're watching all the way to the end so that you don't miss out on any of this important information. And just before we jump into it, you might as well leave a like down below. And if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe with notifications turned on for more updates just like this every single day. But with all of that out of the way, let's get straight to what this video is about. It's right here on the Bitcoin US dollar chart on the four hour time frame. And what we have here is the Bitcoin price forming lower lows while the RSI on the same time frame is forming higher lows. So that there is a bullish divergence. And what it basically means is that the sellers are losing some momentum here in the shorter term. So we could see reduced selling pressure, which in most cases, after we see a bullish divergence that comes in the form of sideways consolidation or perhaps a slight move back to the upside. And while we are seeing this play out, we also just saw a bullish cross in the four hour MACD. And so if we take a look at the last time that we saw this happen on the four hour chart for Bitcoin coming up next was basically more sideways consolidation as I just mentioned and this bullish divergence has come at a very good time because of course we are running into the golden pocket right here which is the most important Fibonacci level also known as the 61.8% Fibonacci level to the 65% level and by the way I've got these Fibonacci levels set to the logarithmic scale instead of the linear scale which is why they might look different compared to your chart if you've just got it on the linear scale but anyway the most important Fibonacci level which is the golden and pocket, which is actually a range that starts at around 40 and a half thousand and goes down towards 39 and a half thousand. So in that $1,000 price range should be some massive amounts of support for Bitcoin. And obviously that is where Bitcoin bottomed out at during the September correction. So we have already confirmed those sort of price levels talking around 40,000 US dollars as some major support. And so that is why I was saying that this bullish divergence here in the shorter term couldn't have come at a better time because it is very important for Bitcoin to maintain above this golden pocket right here, which once again, it goes all the way down towards around 39 and a half thousand but if we break below 39 and a half k then we'll officially be breaking below the september low and putting in the first macro lower low that we've seen in quite a while and in that case obviously the 78.6 percent fibonacci level is coming in the middle of that thirty thousand dollar price range but for now it's just important to focus on this golden pocket as it is acting as support in the immediate short term here and for any beginners out there the reason why the golden pocket is so important is because that is the fibonacci level where the bitcoin price most commonly retraces to and most commonly turns around at that Fibonacci level. And before getting into some other important charts in just a moment, I'll just give you a quick update on this Bitcoin chart. This is still on the daily time frame, and right now we are technically still playing out this massive fractal. I won't go too much into detail about this fractal in this video because I have been doing that over my last few Bitcoin update videos. But for any of the new viewers out there, all you need to know is back in this previous price action that we saw in the middle of 2021, a lot of people were panicking because obviously we just experienced a major drop in the Bitcoin price that lasted for around one to two months before leading up to July. And then as we were entering into July, everyone was looking at this head and shoulders pattern, which is obviously a bearish pattern. And almost everyone in the market at that stage basically started panicking, thinking we're about to drop to much lower prices. So we saw a massive amount of people enter into short positions at that stage just there. And that's basically what we're seeing right now. So this is just another important reason why we need to hold above that September low, because while we're still above that September low, then technically we can still play out this fractal. But think Things only really start to change here if we break well below the September low. Now zooming out to the two-day Bitcoin chart and bringing out the VPVR indicator, this indicator just shows us the price ranges where a lot of volume was traded at. And so if we have major spikes of volume to the downside, that would be acting as support and major spikes to the upside obviously acts as resistance. So according to this indicator on this time frame, we should have a decent amount of resistance coming into play in the high $40,000 prices. So looking at around 47 to 50,000 US dollars per Bitcoin. And then as for support, we've got major support starting here at around 40,000 US dollars per Bitcoin, which is where that major cluster of volume begins at. And just giving you another quick update on the Bitcoin estimated leverage ratio, which is right now experiencing a very slight pullback over the past one to two days. But obviously we have not seen the squeeze out of all of this leverage just yet, because when that eventually comes around, we need to be looking for a drop off in this estimated leverage ratio, like what we saw in the beginning of December, and also like what we saw back in the beginning of September and towards the end of July. And when that eventually happens, when we finally see all of this leverage get flushed out of the markets, which will happen at some stage, it is only a matter of time, then at that stage, we'll see a very volatile move. And considering the fact that the Bitcoin price has been heading to the downside over the past two months, while the estimated leverage ratio has been heading to the upside over the past one month, it is likely that that volatile move will be to the upside in the form of a short squeeze. Because obviously, if the majority of that leverage built up over the past one month was all in long positions, then by now, a lot of 
those positions would be liquidated and we would have already seen a major drop off in the leverage, but we have not seen that. So that means that the majority of these leverage positions over the past one month are still open and in fact are continuing to open, which simply points to the majority of those positions being short positions, similar to what we saw during July 2021. And once again, if you're on the channel back then, I was letting you know about that major short squeeze just around the corner around two days before it actually happened. And right now we are simply seeing the same signs as what we saw back then. Now looking in the US dollar currency index here on the daily time frame, and right now the US dollar is flipping this line into new resistance. Obviously this was previous resistance and then we flipped it into new support for a short amount of time. And now we have dropped below it and seen a successful rejection from this line right here, confirming it again as resistance, which is obviously a bearish sign for the US dollar currency index. But if the US dollar currency index is going to the downside, usually that is a bullish indicator for Bitcoin valued against a falling US dollar. So basically this chart and the Bitcoin charts have a negative correlation, meaning that if the US dollar currency index flips bullish, that usually means Bitcoin is flipping bearish as what we saw in around the middle of November leading into December. And then if this chart is seeing a pullback to the downside, like what we experienced during October, usually during that time period, Bitcoin is pumping to the upside, like what we saw during October. So if the US dollar can see a further pullback here to the downside, obviously that would be a bullish signal for Bitcoin moving forward, potentially over the next few weeks and months. And just giving you another quick update on the Bitcoin order books across all of these exchanges. Right now, we've still got a massive amount of buy orders coming in close to 40,000 US dollars, which is backing up that technical analysis that I talked about in the beginning of this video with 40,000 US dollars being major support. And as always, if you want to get extra crypto content throughout the day, and if you want to stay up to date in the crypto markets at all times, make sure you follow me over on my Twitter. And the link to my Twitter is in the description down below and also in the pinned comments. And before you click off, if you got anything of value out of this video, please make sure you leave a like down below. And if you're new to the channel, you might as well subscribe with notifications turned on for more updates just like this every single day. And also for anyone new to the channel, you might as well check out one of these uploads if you haven't already, because these videos just here can potentially help you make more money in the crypto markets. And as always, I appreciate all of your support at the moment. I can't thank you enough. But anyway, that is it for this update. I really hope you enjoyed and I'll see you all in the next video.